Hi, I'm Anthony Lepanto of Fox Sports North with a look back at the games you could have seen this past week at the Fox Sports Prep Zone at foxsportsnorth.com. We start out in the Northwest Suburban Conference with a rivalry matchup between Coon Rapids and Blaine. New Bengal quarterback Duke Anyanwu got off to a slow start with two early interceptions, but found his rhythm in the second half and finished the game with over 100 yards rushing and passing, along with two big fourth quarter touchdowns that sealed the victory for Blaine 26 to 17. Eden Prairie played host to Champlin Park in a non-conference matchup, and Eden Prairie led 10-7 early in the third quarter when Eagle star running back Andrew Larson extended the lead with a 79-yard touchdown run. Larson rushed for 199 yards, and Eden Prairie's defense held Champlin Park scoreless in the second half. A block punt late was key in Eden Prairie's 24-7 victory. In the South Suburban, Eastview did battle with Lakeville North. Back-to-back -back touchdowns by Lakeville North running back Brandon Morgan turned a five-point third-quarter lead into a 19-point edge for the Panthers. Eastview couldn't get anything going offensively the rest of the way, and a game that was close into the second half got out of hand 42-17 Lakeville North. Minnetonka visited Totino Grace in a matchup that was the same as we saw in opening week last year. The Eagles beat Minnetonka on their home field a year ago. Minnetonka looking for revenge this year and a pair of long touchdown passes from Scott Benedict to Malcolm Moore got the skippers out to a two touchdown lead early in the second half. A pair of touchdown runs by Rashad Cohen put the game out of reach. The skipper defense was outstanding all night, pitching a shutout on the road, 28-0 the final, handing the Eagles their first home loss since 2005, ending a home winning streak at 37 games. In the Suburban East Conference, all eyes were on Stillwater, where former Woodbury coach Bo Labore made his debut as the Ponies' head man. Stillwater quarterback Nate Ricci scored the Ponies' first two touchdowns on a pair of 20-yard runs. The junior also showed off his arm in his first varsity start, throwing for a pair of touchdowns. Woodbury kept the game close despite Ricci's big night, but in the end, their four turnovers were too much to overcome. Stillwater wins 27-20. Eastridge paid a visit on Creighton Durham Hall looking to upset the Raiders who are once again the team to beat in the Suburban East Conference. Creighton Durham Hall didn't have their best offensive game Friday night but their defense was outstanding and they received a couple of big plays on the special teams and were able to win convincingly. Eastridge didn't score until the final seconds of the game and the Raiders win 27-6. Also in the Suburban East Conference, White Bear Lake visited Roseville in a matchup of teams hoping to jump into the upper division of the conference. After a defensive first half that saw the teams tied at seven, White Bear Lake quarterback Eric Rebecki and the Bears triple option offense came to life. He scored touchdowns on a keeper, a play action pass, and an option pitch as White Bear Lake cruised to a 28-13 win. In the classic suburban conference, Monomedi visited Tartan and had to try and overcome a slow start. They fell into an early hole against the Titans after fumbling on their own nine-yard line, and the Titans turned it into a seven-point lead. The Zephyr defense didn't allow another score the rest of the night, and quarterback John Goodmanson led the offense to 19 unanswered points. Monomedi beats Tartan 19-7. That's a look back on all the week one highlights at the Fox Sports Prep Zone. Make sure you check it out this Friday night at 7 o'clock, four games, streaming live at foxsportsnorth.com.